we're out here at Koya Taco in Miami. So we've left the cold of Toronto. We're down here in Miami, so we figured let's do a few vlogs while we're down here. Our vlog has been consi consistently inconsistent, so we're gonna come back strong. This is our first meal. We haven't had food in like eight hours, but we're like, no, we're filming this. So we're out here, we got the burrito bowl. Keeping it clean and mean. This place is really cool, really authentic, so we're excited to dig in. Beauty, and for good time's sake, the first bite. The best part of the whole video. Kidding, it'll be a good video. Mm. Wow. That is good, that's quality. It's not as big as we're used to. Like we usually go to Fat Bastards Burrito, they give us so much food, but this is definitely quality. So we out here in Miami, but we riding in style. I don't think we can see it somewhere in there. So I don't know if this is a normal thing. This is bonkers. This random water area here has manatees. And one like came right up. I'll show you the footage from my phone. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. I thought like manatees were a zoo animal. I didn't know they were like just chilling in Miami. So it's pretty sweet. Let's take a look, guys. Bro, what the heck? We just literally escaped from Toronto, negative 22, negative 30, and here it's like plus 22. So we just took that negative sign, turned it into a plus. We're just gonna enjoy our time here, stay tuned. What's going on? Welcome to the crib. Uh, we'll show you the view and everything. It's a pretty cool place. It's like an apartment complex. Uh, we booked through a hotel, so I guess they managed just for a couple of the rooms or something. But we're super excited because we can actually film like grocery videos, cool Q&A videos, like a lot of really, really cool things. So it's gonna be a huge opportunity. So in the past, we've spent like six, 700 bucks on food in like a week eating out. You know, it really adds up. And when you're trying to have healthy things like Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, et cetera, and you're eating out way too much, it gets super expensive. So me and Kyle went and we wanted to do an under $100 grocery haul and show you what we eat essentially for a week, how we make it work and how we make it fit. Now the challenge was it's Super Bowl Sunday, right? And you know we follow the 90 uh, or 80-20 rule. Uh, sometimes 90-10, but here is 80-20 for sure. So we got some fun things in here. So first and foremost, we got two big chips. Uh, they were two for five. Chips are pretty horrible macros. They're not the best for you, but for the Super Bowl, we're gonna make them fit, you know, have a little bit tonight, have a little bit then. Make them fit within our macros so we can still enjoy them. Still partaking all the fun of the Super Bowl. The other cool Super Bowl food we got are um, crispy chicken patties. Uh, these are pretty solid, 13 protein, 170 calories. I really like these because they taste super good. Uh, once again, they're not insanely healthy either. They are fried, but it's a really fun opportunity to still eat something cool for the Super Bowl without going to like KFC and getting a big bucket or something. I mean, if you do that, that's on you. We're trying to get super shredded this summer, so we want to maintain where we're at right now. Um, 
past that right here, what we have is uh, these are like hamburger thins. So sandwich thins, these are really, really cool because they're only 140 calories per bun. Um, then we'll probably double up the patties, minimize the carbs, still be able to get a lot of meat, have some fun there. Uh, we're gonna have to find some ketchup packets somewhere so we can throw them on. I'm gonna have to take them from somewhere. You gotta do what you gotta do. So past that we said, in the morning we don't have a lot of time before we head out. So the big, big focus here was smoothie stuff. So we got some bananas. These are key, uh, that's gonna be a big part of our smoothie. I'm lactose, so we have this lactose free milk. This will be really helpful. We have a blender in our hotel, thankfully. So that's gonna go a super long way. Now the plan right now, we could add the Greek yogurt, but we don't want to. So we're gonna go banana, milk. Uh, we have some extra fresh fruit, which can be really good in the smoothie. And then we have our frozen fruit. So this is really good bang for the buck. And to bring that protein way up past the milk, which already has eight grams per serving, um, we're gonna throw some egg whites in there. Ooh. So if you wanna be hardcore, these, these are go. what you do. So there's 10 servings per this container. Each serving is 25 calories, five protein, zero fat, zero carbs. This is pure protein, mix that in. This is something we can drink very early and easily in the morning, get our protein really high, and then hopefully still eat out, have a fun lunch, and uh, let Kyle go through the rest of the items. Beauty, so we plan on having lunch out with everyone else, uh, but when we come back, we just wanna keep something super cheap and decently macro friendly. We have four different meals here, honey balsamic chicken. Tell the macros on those bad boys. So something like this, okay, the sodium's high, we get that. Um, but we're traveling, right? We're traveling. We, we're not cooking for... Only 210 calories, and this is gonna be filling. Ooh, there's Brussels sprouts too, that'll be good. Uh, 2.5 grams of fat, 28 carbs, 19 grams of protein. Fantastic, high in fiber, and there's got some, some nutritional benefits Let's here. Let's get it. Uh, on top of that, we have a bunch of Greek yogurts. Ooh, this sounds good. This is a- I just got a bunch of nice flavors. This is, it looks like a caramel type thing. That's gonna be good. We've got a bunch of different flavors. Blueberry Obviously, peach. Great source of protein. A lot of people have been asking me lately, how can I get my protein up? So Greek yogurt is fantastic. It doesn't matter if you get the flavored or the plain, but in my opinion, the plain tastes awful, so the flavor's a little bit better. Um, Balance out the that. chips with the healthy snacks. That's it, we've got carrots, something good to munch on. If you are struggling in a cut, these are fantastic. Any type of veggie that you can just consume a lot of for you know low calories, it's always great. It's gonna fill you up and there's nutritional benefits. And then the best, this is what we need to survive. We've got coffee, this was buy one get one free. I've never tried this kind, but we've got a coffee maker right over here. So we're gonna fire that up in the morning. And then this is like turning into a macro hack video. I love this. This is sick. This is this is what we do. This is our life, and everyone seems to love the macro hack video. So we're going back to the good old days. We've got Skippy um, peanut butter. I don't know if you mentioned this, but we're gonna toss it into the smoothie as well. Oh, what's probably. so good about that peanut butter? And this one is I don't know, it's I reduced it's fat. It's reduced fat. Wow, Easy to fit in our macros. That. Wow, for two tablespoons. Tell them the macros. Well. So we've got two tablespoons, calories are 190, 12 grams of fat, 14 carbs, and seven protein. And we gotta keep the go. fat down if we're gonna be having some chip -to chips and okay. eating out, having some Miami burgers. Last but not least, next macro hack, if you guys have watched our macro hack videos, a lot of these in there, but this is cool. I've had it maybe once or twice. Josh said it's really good. This is uh, zero calories, it's gonna fill you How up. How do you pronounce that, bro? Tastes You're French. Great. La Croix. La Croix. La Croix. <laughs> La Croix. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to smash that like button for these macro hacks. Till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Ready, buddy?